Hi all, I wanted to make a quick video about an indicator that will help you uh, isolate the trend in the market. Uh, before I begin, I would like to mention that this is an educational channel. All content over here is only for the sake of education. Kindly read the disclaimer that you see on the screen and also in the description below. With that said, let's proceed. So the, so the chart that we'll be using for this example is uh, Nifty. 5 minute chart there are no indicators currently on the chart only thing that we are using is sessions break sessions break is here in the settings which separates the days you'll know where one day has ended and the next day has begun all right so let's quickly get into our indicators the first indicator you'll have fun with this because the name itself is uh, full of fun it's called the must trend all right let me show you the author's name about the script it's called must trend and its creator's name is crazy kishore 74 all right i'll leave the name of the indicator and the creator's name in the comment section and pin it so that you'll have no difficulty finding the indicator all right now when you apply this indicator it looks something like this let me just go to its default settings by default the indicator looks like this as you can see on the screen that it it shows you when one trend has ended so over here the downtrend began and over here the uptrend began so it's very simple all right you want you can use it with all its features or you can simply use it like this you can just go over here if you don't want to see this these boxes uncheck all this you can only leave the uh actually you can even uncheck this plot that that way you will be only left with the colored line colored line is very simple when there's a downtrend it shows it in red when the market is sideways or it's about to change a trend it hovers between purple and blue you can see blue over here from green it became blue and then it became red over here it's going purplish that means it's going sideways and then when it goes green that means it's in a uptrend all right so it depends on you what kind of uh, which way you want to see it you want to have these extra colors indicating the trend use it don't want it don't use it i don't want to use it so i don't use it generally i only keep the plot open in inputs i don't change anything i leave it in its default settings only the plot is ticked and everything else is unticked so here we have the trend and if if you back test this also you'll realize that it's fairly accurate all right now how do we uh have another indicator that confirms what we are looking at in this indicator so for this i've already made a video on this indicator we will use the same one in this as well it's called the average sentiment oscillator let me show you the name of the indicator it's average sentiment oscillator by kevin os Zibilk, i think it's kevin os Zibilk. all right it's average sentiment oscillator again i'll leave the name in the comment section below along with the author's name so that you have no difficulty finding it it's in its default settings our only thing i've changed is i've changed the colors i have not changed the input input is default colors i've just made it a little brighter so that it's more visible all right that's it guys now if you look over here the green is cutting into the red over here it's turned purple and over here it's turned green and then whole day it's been going up and whole day it's been green over here all right you can do the same thing for bank nifty and see now this is bank nifty chart again you see that intersection over here green cutting into the red and going up so nifty and bank nifty both were in an uptrend today even though they were slowly climbing this indicator clearly shows you see in the past as well when the trend is about to go red over here red cuts into the green and goes above here on top you can see the trend line has become red so it's a fairly accurate indicator I mean, I have been uh, testing it for the last few days and I believe that it gives fairly correct indications. However, I would suggest that you use it for some time, uh, paper trading it and then come to your own conclusions. I was asked by one of my subscribers today if there was any indicator that he could use uh, to check the trend. All right. And I replied him that later in the day, I will be uploading a video where i will be talking about must trend and here it is it's the must trend i like the name quite a bit all right so on top we're using must trend in its default settings uh, only we have 
unticked a couple of boxes that we don't want you can have it or not have it it's your choice at the bottom using average sentiment oscillator default settings you have just made the colors brighter so that it's a lot more visible i believe that this will work on nifty bank nifty fin nifty mid cap nifty all of them i'm yet to check it on commodities let's do it right now let's see how it works on crude yeah i think it'll work on crude as well natural gas yes yes sort of works i think it works on commodity as well bitcoin well bitcoin has been going sideways but if you see over here it's caught the trend correctly uh, over here it has gone green and here green is cut into the red so it works for bitcoin as well so there you go guys it works for everything in its default settings all right an amazing indicator would request you to spend some time with it work with it on the five minutes time frame like i have done and then you, if you find you may find uses to this in the other time frame as well but i use five minutes so i'm making the video on five minutes time frame all right so i hope this video was of some help to you if it was then kindly like and subscribe to the channel share this video with your family and friends also subscribe to our telegram channel the link is given in the description below in all our videos thank you so much for watching i'll see you in another video Take care. Bye-bye.